If you are new to this travel series, we are doing a 10 day trip to Tasmania. We started from Launceston and spent 2 days in this picturesque city. Our next stop was the epic hiking destination in the Cradle Mountains. The beauty of this place cannot be explained in words. We then spent the night in the ecological wonder called Queenstown. Next on our list was the vibrant capital city of Hobart. From here we also visited Mount Wellington and Bruny Island. Today we are heading towards our final destination in the Tassie series which is the eastern coastline. As we are traveling towards Bicheno, we did a pit stop at this fish van. A friend of mine recommended this place to have seafood, so we are here to check this out. We ordered pineapple fritters, prawn twisters, squid, and curly fries, which was super delicious. It's time to explore the gorgeous East Coast. We will stay a couple of nights in Bicheno, from where we will visit the famous Wine Glass Bay and Bay of Fires. So we have reached Bicheno. Now we are going to check into our hotel. It's called Beach Front Pichano. Let's check out our room. Come on. We have come to see the Bay of Fires. This place is famous for its white sandy beaches, blue waters, and orange-colored granite rocks, which is unique to this place. We travel here from Bicheno, which is around 97 kilometers, and this place is around 190 kilometers from Launceston. Bicheno is a quiet seaside resort town on Tasmania's east coast. 
Fishing and tourism are the economic forces driving the town. You can join a guided tour to see the local wildlife including little penguins and Tasmanian devils. It also offers some of the best snorkeling and scuba diving spots in this region. We have come to this restaurant called the Lobster Shack in Kichenu. Uh, we are going to try lobster for the first time. And uh, we have ordered the garlic butter lobster and the lobster roll. So you don't need to crack the shells to bring out the meat. This is good. So you can just have the meat dipped in the sauce and it is just amazing. We just reached the Fresnet National Park. Uh, remember guys, you have to take a pass for the National Park. We took the holiday pass and that is applicable for like two months for across all national parks in Tasmania. We are taking the wine glass lookout trail. It is at the Fresenet National Park and we should be able to get a good view of the wine glass bay from up there. We started doing this walk at around 1.30. We thought it would be uh, sunny but good for us. It's cloudy and the weather is just fine. As per the information we checked on internet, this is one of the easier walks and it should not take more than one and a half hours to reach up. So we have reached the wine glass bay lookout and oh my god just look at this so beautiful i love it so as per internet there are two theories on the name wine glass bay one it looks like a wine glass and from top and the other one is that there was a whaler station and slaughtering of whales would happen at that place and the blood would cause it to become red and show like a wine glass being filled. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Bicheno and sadly also to Tazi as we are finishing our visit to this wonderful state. Now we will be leaving for Launceston to take our flight back to Sydney. We will be back with a new journey and a new trip. Till then, bye!